Hi, today I'm going to briefly discuss the 5G network slicing opportunity as it stands today and a recent example demonstrating its capabilities. Network slicing has long been a hot topic as it's considered to unlock some of the key benefits of 5G for both telcos and enterprises. Through network slicing, operators can create multiple discrete networks segmented from a wider network. Each network slice, however, will have its own complete functionality despite being created over a common physical infrastructure. Each network slice can also be customized to the specific needs of the customer. For telcos, this provides a brand new opportunity opposed to the traditional one-size-fits-all network approach. Operators can provide a more tailored and flexible service, offering a network slice specific to the connectivity needs of the customer and have the ability to alter and retire them as required. For customers, network slicing provides a new opportunity to have a network that is customized for their specific needs without having to invest in their own physical infrastructure. Some might see network slicing as a more accessible and flexible alternative to the many benefits of private networks. With all these benefits, it's understandable why network slicing has long been a hot topic. Back in 2018, network slicing was claimed to generate 66 billion US dollars in value by 2026 in certain industry verticals. Yet four years later, as it stands today, Network slicing is still very much in the trial and pr proof of concept stage as it still faces various significant obstacles in its journey. The most significant obstacle is the slow and delayed deployment of 5G standalone. The full promise of dynamic network slicing requires the fully virtualized infrastructure of 5G standalone. But earlier this year, only 20 operators have been catalogued to have deployed 5G standalone in public networks. Hence, whilst 5G standalone deployment is slow, network slicing is limited in its progress. But ultimately, despite these obstacles, network slicing trials have progressed and have become more promising as they demonstrate the true capability and the opportunity that it provides. One recent and interesting example demonstrated how network slicing can support sports coverage production, where Sky, Vodafone and Ericsson collaborated to conduct a trial at a 5G-enabled stadium in Dusseldorf. Traditionally, the stadium's method of broadcast required wired cable transmission between the camera equipment to an outside broadcast fan, which essentially functions as a mobile TV production studio. The need for cabling significantly limited the flexibility of the cameras and the shots able to be captured by the camera crew. Through network slicing, though, the trial facilitated a new and more flexible method of capturing sports coverage, making use of 5G SIM-enabled cameras unrestricted by cables. But importantly, it is the capabilities of network slicing that facilitated the whole operation. By providing a network slice, it protected the real-time video transmission from the cameras to its production locations, from interference from any mobile traffic from the 43,000 spectators on the same network. If you're interested to hear more about the progress of 5G network slicing and other examples of its trials and proof of concepts, please go to our website and read our article.